Season three is officially here, and Mohamed Salah has left to PSG for 120 million. And Elon Musk has provided us with another billion dollars for this season, so we'll have no problem signing a Salah replacement. And because it's a brand new season, of course, we have three brand new kits. We're the Tesla sponsor, by the way, so stay tuned for that. But before we get into the transfers, Elon Musk has given Zidane this contract for this season, which says if we don't win the Premier League and the Champions League, he will get sacked. And we also have to to sign two English players. So we need to make sure we get this transfer window right because we've just lost Salah and this side needs to win the Premier League and Champions League. But of course, we do have the best player in the world, 94 rated Mbappe. Now, when it comes to Salah replacements, the majority of you guys are probably thinking of Federico Chiesa from Juventus. I've mentioned signing this guy before. He's in the last year of his contract, so we could get him on the cheap. I mean, he's 87 overall. But another option from Serie A could be Rafael Liao. He's now 25. 88 overall would cost a lot more, like double. The problem I have with Chiesa and Liao is they're both left wingers who are right footed. Salah got a lot of goal contributions last season. He's a right winger, left footed. So a really good option could be Moussa Diaby. He's left footed, 88 overall. 24 would do the job amazingly well, but we need to sign two English players. So Bukayo Saka would be a fantastic player to sign. He's currently in a Milan, 86 overall but he's 22. He's still very, very young and he's Premier League proven. Of course, we're going to go straight in here and put an offer in. He's valued at 85 million, but they were talking upwards off 100. So we're going to offer 92 million. Test the waters real quick. Why does everyone want Fabinho? That was amazing, but we don't want to sell him. 97 and a half. We're just going to accept that. 275 care week, 10 million signing on bonus. Of course, he says yes to that. Welcome to Liverpool. So here he is, the brand new signing wearing the new home Liverpool shirt. 90 7 million. The game is going to rate this an A. Yes, it is. That's a really good transfer. I mean, he's Salah's replacement, so we might as well just give him number 10. And he slots into the side nicely. I am expected him to grow quite a bit this season because he is a little low rated at 86. Of course, we do have Diego Jota out on loan at Real Madrid. He's 89 overall at 27. I thought we should recall him. He'd be a massive player, a part of the squad. Okay, Spurs may have won the league last season, but are they having a laugh? They've offered 220 9 million from Bappe. I wouldn't even accept a billion for this guy. Are you kidding me? We have a massive injury to Trent. Guys, he's rolled out for three months with a broken collarbone. This is a massive injury. I don't think we should sign a replacement because three months will go by pretty quickly. We could play Curtis Jones there, but my suggestion for now is we play Mason Mount at center mid and we actually play Diego Schotta at cap. I mean, they still get plus ratings, so I'm just going to see how that goes. Now, you guys have patiently been waiting for this kit reveal. Unfortunately, my my kit maker, MOI, was not available to make these, so I have had to go and make them, and this is how the home one is looking. It's still Nike, but Air Jordan, I just thought that would look better, with a Tesla logo. It's all red with a bit of orange on it. I think I've done a pretty good job with this. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, though. To be fair, I didn't really know what to do for the away one, so this is what we have. I admit it's probably average or just slightly better. It's all white. Home shirt's got a nice little pattern on it. Tesla sponsor is clean. Air Jordan looks great as always. Again, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And this is the third one. Again, didn't really know what to do. Same colors as last season. Same pattern all over the kit. Of course, new signing. Saka displaying it. Tesla sponsor does look good. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this one? And of course, we can't forget the goalkeeper kit. I made a little mistake with the badge there. I'll have to fix that. But just ignore it for now. I will fully accept this is terrible. The home away and third are okay, but this is just dreadful. So don't go too hard on this one in the comments. Now, we do actually have an opportunity to win a trophy here in our first game of the season against Spurs. As it is our first game of the season, do we make a little bit of a rotation? Maybe start Canada over Delict and both Banner at CDF. The FA Cup winners versus Premier League winners. They beat us to the league by just a point. So to test where we really are at the start of this season, there's no better side to play than Tottenham. Oh, Ramiro nearly making a mistake there. Yes, he does make a mistake. Mbappe, Dan Diego Jota. Oh, what a goal. What now? What a way to come back from lone goal, Diego Jota. Fantastic pressure there. Klopp style. Nice assist, Mbappe. And that is a finish. Is Son going to shoot? Here he does over the wall. Oh! 
I thought that went in. Always a good chance for Spurs to get back in it. Harry Kane, what a goal. Spurs don't take long to level it out. And it's nobody else but Harry Kane with the goal. Keeper didn't even move. I tell you what, Spurs are going to be challenging this season as well by the looks of things. Here's Gakpo, still got the ball. Oh, that's a foul. He keeps it though. Looking for Mbappe. Why not just pass them the ball? Apparently we have a penalty. A handball from a corner. I tell you what, since we scored that goal, it's all going wrong. Here it is. It'll be here. And back. But he didn't even header it. It just hit his hand. That is a pen. This first side is going to be very competitive this season. Oh, we go the right way and he still scores. Is Saka out wide? Oh, that's a foul. Gives the ball to Saka. First impression on the ball. He's got that left foot. Okay, he's got out of that situation nicely. Still Saka. Still Saka. Goes to hit it. Blocked. Here's Gill on the ball. Now Kane. Could be enough. Oh, the referee has just blown the whistle. I would be fuming. I don't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting smashed here. They do get the goal. Still an injustice because it could potentially be 4-1. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, what a save. This is damage control right here. Could have been another right there. Head of this away. Get it out. He finds Mason Mount. Takes a good touch. Still Mount. Still Mount. Has he got the finish? Oh, what a save. Now here's Gakpo on his right. Hits one. Oh, good save. We haven't really seen him do anything this game. Still got the ball. Still Saka. Still Saka. Good stuff, Saka. Oh. Oh, what a save. Rebound. Oh, what a block. That is not how we wanted to start this season. We lose a trophy. We get smashed by Spurs 3-1. That is a massive sign that this could be a tough season. We need to win the Premier League and the Champions League. Perhaps Mohamed Salah was our Mane. And now he's gone. Stuff is about to get bad. Guys, where are us in this side? Could we make a signing? Potentially on the bench, most likely for the bench. But we need to sign another English player this season. I'm going to be honest. I know is 29 and is at Real Sociedad now, but I really wouldn't mind signing James Ward-Prowse. He used to play for the Liverpool B-side, Southampton. Would be a cheap signing and a good bench player. And I know a lot of you guys are going to suggest Jude Bellingham, but guys, our midfield's too good. We can't fit Jude Bellingham into the side right now. The first game of the Premier League, we have Wolverhampton away. We cannot be losing this one. Here's Saka on the ball. Finds Gakpo. Chance to shoot. Hits it. Oh, what a goal, Gakpo! What a fantastic goal that was. Now here comes Saka onto that left foot. Can he keep it? Is he going to pass it? Saka moves it on. That was a horrendous pass. Now Robertson crosses it in. Mbappe with the header 2-0. I really did not expect to score that. It isn't the easiest thing to score a header on this game, but Kylian Mbappe gets his fast. Now here comes Fabinho. Out wide there to Gakpo. This really does show how good Spurs are. And Mbappe, pass shot. That's another goal. This guy is going to score more than 39 goals this season. Are you kidding me? What an opportunity this is for Wolves. We'll bring the keeper out. Whee! He chips. Okay, right. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Didn't mean to call him out that far. And what a chance here from the free kick. Unfortunately, Trent is injured. We could get Saka on it. Do you know what? We're going to get Mbappe taking it. I feel that is the best option here. We're going to put a decent amount of pat. Put a bit of bend on it over the wall. Oh, close to the post. But that's full time. 3-1 win. Now, we have Arsenal, who didn't even finish top 10 last season. So, we simmed it and we get a 2-0 win. Mbappe and Saka with a goal. Scores against his former club. I tell you what, we've had no simple start to the season. We've now got Man United. If you take a look at their side, they've re-signed Chris Smalling for centre-back. And they've now got Pedro at centre mid. If we can play like we did against Wolves here at Old Trafford, silence them Man United. United fans, that'd be amazing. His sack on the ball. He did get his first goal versus Arsenal, which was just fairy tale stuff. Still Saka. Gonna try hit it. Oh, Chris Smalling. Mike Smalling with the tackle. Oh no, is Bruno Fernandes on the ball. Now out to Anthony. Is he gonna do a spin? What a save. Akimi. Now he's found Saka. Mbappe make the run. Do something. That's it. In behind. Here's Mbappe on the ball. Got all that pace. Back post maybe. Dinker. I could have shot. What am I doing? Here's Gakpo. Still got the ball. Mason Mount. Now Fabinho. He's found Shotter. Nice run there. Back to Shotter in the box. Or oh, Gakpo. Nope. Oh, oh, what a save. Oh, that's a nice header there, Mason Mount. Here's Saka. Little ball over the top there for Mbappe. Wins the header. Oh, what a goal. What an assist, Saka. And what a goal, Mbappe. Check this out. Look at that. Just plays it long. Keeper comes out. Wins that. That is a very good goal. Oh, no. It's a chance for United. What a block, Van Dijk. Oh, no. It's Pedri. Shot. Never save, Allison. Here's Bruno. Oh, that's a pass. That's a pass. Bruno with the shot. Oh, just past the post. That leads us to halftime. Here's Mason Mount. Slips that to Mbappe. He's through. This could be their second goal. Mbappe 
Pass shot. Oh, what am I doing? Of course, the keeper's going to come out and get that. That was a fantastic chance. That's a nice long ball there. Shotter wins the header. Now to Mbappe. Nice touch. Still Mbappe. Great bit of play. Now in the box. Oh, Gakpo couldn't get there. Oh, this could be the last counter-attack of the game. United. What an interception, Virgil. Gets that out wide to Gakpo. Perhaps we could get a goal here. Saka. Referee blows. That's the win. 1-0 at Old Trafford. Three points in the bag. Now, our Champions League group has been drawn for this season. The sides we're facing are Bayer Leverkusen, Real Sociedad, and Diamond Kien. Oh, we've got the dreaded Burnley now. It's a 3-2 win. Just about. Gakpo with a brace and Virgil van Dijk. Our first game of the group is Bayer Leverkusen. Take a look at that side. Richarlison on the right with Deabe just behind him and Abraham up top. Super good defense in midfield. We need to be careful against them. They're probably going to challenge for the Bundesliga. We can't be slipping up in the group stage. We need to be winning this competition. A win here would be great for the confidence. Here's Saka. Can we get a shot off? Yes, he can. Just past the goal. But now we have a penalty. And of course, no one but Mbappe can take it. We're going to actually be cheeky here. We're going to penetrate it down the way. Every time we do it, every time we do it, the keeper doesn't move. But we have another penalty. You guys know exactly what we're going to do on this one. We're going to penetrate it down the middle. Oh, he just scores. 1-0 Liverpool. His mount. Oh, that's a run there for Saka. In behind, out wide. There's people in the box. Still Saka. He's going to pass it on. Gakpo. 2-0. Assist for Saka. And a goal for Gakpo. I feel Saka is probably going to get more assists than goals this season. Oh, but a really Real good opportunity now for Leverkusen. Abraham back to this dude. Back to Abraham. Is he going to get the shot off? He passes it. So let hits it. Just about saving it. There's Mbappe. Now we've got Saka. Oh, this should be a goal. Saka on his right. Has he got the finish? Yes, he has. 3-0. That's the number 10. Saka with a goal. And that's full time. A 3-0 win at Anfield. That is the best way to start the Champions League campaign. Back to the Premier League with a 2-1 win versus Leicester. Saka again and a Mbappe. Now, we've got Wolfhampton in the first round of the Carabao Cup. Would be a good competition to win. If you take a look, we've pretty much fully rotated, and this is how strong our squad is. And we get a 2 0 win. Diego Jota and Darwin Nunez. Oh boy, we're doing well in the Premier League. We get another 3 0 win away to Forest. Six games in, already five points clear from second place. And Spurs aren't even in the top eight. They're actually 15th. Perhaps that loss in the Community Shield was a massive wake up to us. So back to the group stage in the Champions League playing Kiev. And Adi, oh, that's a really nice pass there to Livermano. Now Harvey Elliott still got the ball. Mbappe! Oh, past the post. Oh, but we're back at it again here. Gakpo onto that right foot. Finesse is it. Oh, top right that corner. 1-0 Liverpool. This team is going to achieve so much this season. Here's a good opportunity for Kiev. Hits it. What a save. Oh, and pretty much a one-on-one -on -one hit for Saka. Slots that to Gakpo. Surely the second goal. Got to finesse it. 2-0. What a finish, Gakpo. This is going to be a massive season for him. And that's the 90 minutes. We beat Kiev 2-0 and actually went down to 10 men. Back to the Premier League playing Bournemouth and we get a 3-1 win. And back Mbappe, Saka, and Saka with a brace. A top goal scorer is Mbappe. Seven in ten games. Six and five for Gakpo and Saka. But guys, Saka has seven assists. I really do think he's going to get more assists than goals, as I said. Take a look at that. He's now 88 overall. We get a 3-1 win versus our B team. Saka, Mbappe, and Gakpo. I'm going to say it, but so far, this front three has been better than it was last season with Saka in it. And just like that, Trent is back from injury. I don't know how it's gone that quick, but we will give him a couple of weeks to recover. But now we're facing Real Sociedad back in the Champions League. And they have an early opportunity. What a save. And it's better for them to have a decent side. Not as good as Bayer Leverkusen's, of course. But from this free kick out, I'm actually just going to smash it. Try and win a corner from it. Mbappe. Oh, it's the post. Oh, but here's Saka out wide. Big opportunity. He's going to find Gakpo. Back post. Could have sweated a cross, but what a volley. What a goal, Gakpo. It's 1-0 Liverpool. And in the first Final minute of the game. We can confirm this win by scoring this penalty. And Mbappe, we're going to hammer this top right hand corner. Keeper dives the other way. 2 0 Liverpool. Julian Mbappe wins the game. And we get a 2 1 win versus Brighton. Mbappe and Saka once again. 16 goal contributions for Saka in 13 games. And 15 for Mbappe in 13 is incredible. We have certainly found that replacement for Mohamed Salah. And he's only 23. We have a Cabo Cup game here. 
we're pretty much fully rotated. And Trent is back from injury, by the way. Let's go zero sharpness. We're just going to give him minutes anyway. A 3-0 win. Nunes, Diaz, and Jones. Nine games in, nine wins, 27 points. Seven points clear from second place, West Ham. Guys, this season has gone amazingly well so far. But of course, this season, we need to sign two English players. We've signed one already. And January will be around the corner very soon. So get your suggestions down below. Guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Want to see a Barcelona career mode? My second channel is on the screen now.